All right, so Afro basket. What is mm -hmm. Afro basket? Okay, so Afro basket is the men's basketball continental championship in Africa. It brings together the top 16 teams in the continent competing in a two-week tournament. The first edition of this tournament was held in 1962 and was held every two years. Angola has won 11 Afrobasket titles with Egypt and Senegal each claiming five. So you know who the powerhouse is. Right, so right. In 2017, FIBA, which is the International Basketball Federation, introduced a new four-year format for national teams. So mm -hmm. Afrobasket now feeds into the FIBA World Cup and then the Summer Olympics. So this year um, we'll have the 15 teams that competed in the 2017 Afrobasket and they'll be joined by five teams that have won their pre-qualification Afrobasket tournament. So mm -hmm. 20 teams will be competing in the Afrobasket qualifiers. There'll mm -hmm. be five groups, four teams per group, and each group will compete in two rounds of qualifiers with the top three teams competing in Afrobasket next year in Rwanda. Okay, so is this tied up with the uh, the bow? Is this all one no. thing or what is it? Completely different from bow. So Afrobasket is national teams, whereas the Basketball Africa League or bow is club teams. So you'll see um, you'll see the national champions of the domestic league in Tunisia, Nigeria, Senegal, Angola, 12 club teams competing right. in BAL. Mm. Okay. Afrobasket consists of every team from Africa, right? I mean, they somehow... No. Uh -huh. it, won't be, it won't be all 54 teams. So uh -huh. it's always going to be, as of 2017, the, right. the teams that qualified for Afrobasket in that year automatically mm -hmm. go to qualifiers for the 2021 Afro basket. Okay. That's why oh. it's so important for you to qualify for Afro because it gives you the next edition. It gives you automatic qualification into the qualifiers. So why is if that you're the case? Not, why is that, why the, is case? that the case? Right. Because why, generally why not speaking, start afresh every year? Well, the reason being is because they're, they're considered the best teams in Africa. So this year, what they've done to um, give uh, other teams a chance is we now have pre-qualifiers. So say I'm Tanzania, for example. Right. I would then go to pre-qualifiers, which was held in Kenya in mm -hmm. January this year, and mm -hmm. I will go against teams like Somalia, Kenya, South Sudan, all these guys who are not in Afro. If I win that, I then get to go to qualifiers. So then... Once you're in qualifiers, if you can make Afro, you're guaranteeing your national team will get the opportunity to participate again in four years' time. Well, I mean, four years is a really long time for you. You qualify four years ago and automatically you go the next four years. I think that's a stretch right there. It, are, are people okay with this? Well, see, what happens is so once Afro Basket is done, those right. 16 teams then go and compete in World Cup qualifiers. So right. that's four windows, two mm -hmm. rounds, four windows. Then you, if you, the top five teams, then go to the World Cup. Then you play at the World Cup. If you're good enough, you qualify for the Olympics. So, you know, there'll be teams that play a lot in those four years. And then there's right. teams who might play in the first round of World Cup qualifiers, get knocked out, and they have to wait another two years. But in the meantime, what FIBA has done is they've introduced another tournament called AfroCan. And this is for national teams, but, and it will be every two years, it will be in between AfroBasket. So AfroBasket is in 2021, AfroCan is in 2023. So okay. you can compete in that if you've been knocked out of the World Cup qualifiers. But a little, little thing that makes AfroCan different is you can only use domestic based players. So oh. your NBA guys, your European-based guys, wherever, so, only two of them are allowed to play. When you say domestic base, does that mean as long as you live abroad, you can't play? You could be a citizen of that country, but you can't play. 
Yeah, you have to be playing in the league. So, for okay. example, in, in if I'm Tanzanian, I have to be playing for like JSK or Dolphins or whoever. I have to right. play for them. If I'm living in the US or if I'm living in Europe and I play for a European club, right. I can't come and play for Tanzania. 